everybody. Welcome to another year of exploring nature and learning about science. I am Eric and I am one of your child science teachers. Hey everybody, I'm Kathleen and I'm also one of your children's science teachers. This year, Eric and I will be working together to support your child in science. When I'm not teaching science, you'll find me hiking in the woods, kayaking on the river, and exploring wherever I can. If you can't find me in the classroom, I am always outside, whether in the mountains on the trail or sometimes on the beach. As you're probably aware, four, five, and six-year-olds have a well-developed sense of curiosity. They want to ask why, they want to know how, and they want to know what is this or what is that. Their questions and their curiosity make them great scientists. As science teachers, we have two jobs. The first, and perhaps the most important, is to nurture that love for exploration. We want them to think that science is fun. And our second job is to take that love for learning and help them frame it in scientific ways. The year is structured to progress through the steps of the scientific method while learning aspects of the physical and natural world. We'll start the year with observation. You'll hear your child talk about things like, what do I see? What do I wonder? You'll hear your child comparing how things are the same, how things are different, and how things are similar. As their observation skills get more refined, we'll start to see how does an object's form relate to its function. We may look at seeds. We'll try to see how the shape of a seed determines how that seed can get away from its parents. We may look at blocks and determine how the position of a block on a lever affects how the lever will move. As we'll be observing and making hypotheses with the form and function relationship, we'll start to introduce data collection. You'll see data collection with words, data collection with pictures, data collection with tally marks, so students get a sense of what things are happening more often and what things are happening less often. As a group, we'll use the data to support conclusions. All the things your child will be doing in science this year will lay the foundation for future scientific work. How can you support your child? The best way to support your child is by exploring with your child. Go outside, observe nature, look at things, wonder how they work. When your child asks you questions, rather than trying to answer the questions, help your child try to answer the questions for him or herself. When your child asks, why is the sky blue? You could give them an answer. You could look up an answer on the internet. You could try to explain why the sky is blue. However, to really understand why the sky is blue requires more information and more experiences than your child has right now. Does that mean the question is unanswerable for a four, five, or six year old? Of course not. What it does mean is we look for questions that we can answer. Why is the sky blue, mommy? Why is the sky blue, daddy? I don't know. Is the sky always blue? Where is the sky blue? When is the sky blue? Is the sky blue the sky that's closest to the ground or the sky that's way, way high up? Is the sky blue closer to the sun or farther from the sun? Is the sky bluer in the morning bluer in the middle of the day, or bluer close to dark? When it's blue on one side, is it also blue on the other side? These are areas which you can explore together. You can collect some data, and maybe that data collection will lead to exploring something on the internet, or maybe it will just lead to experiences which your child can draw on later on. We look forward to working with your child this year. We look forward to lots of exploring. And with lots of exploring, we look forward to a great year. See you soon.